Hey everybody, this is Stitch and Stacy. This morning what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go over a pattern that I did myself. It's my imitation of a starfish. And I did two different ones and they have five tentacles. So this is the project that I'm going to do this morning. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we're going to use our five millimeter hook and just a roll of Red Heart Super Saver Economy Yarn. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to adjust it. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to make our slip knot. And by now, I hope everyone knows how to do this slip knot. By watching my last video so we're gonna wrap tuck and pull through insert our hook all right and this is mainly going to be made with um, nothing more than a single crochet so we're going to chain three one two three and you're going to join at the top beginning stitch you're going to pull through and through with a slip stitch then that's going to leave you the center you have to dig for it once in a while but it's there as you can see it's right there okay now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap our yarn in chain five one two three four and five. Now what you're going to do is just work right back down this same chain with another single crochet. Okay, here's our first one. This is the stitch we're in currently. Now you're going to go in the second stitch here and you're going to do a single crochet. And you're going to go in the next and do a single crochet. Next. And the next. Okay. Then we have one more right there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to find the center and you're going to go in the center, pull through, and do your single crochet in the center. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and you're going to go back down, first stitch here, single crochet, next one, next, Then you're going to go back into this one here, which is actually part of part of your circle on the outside stitching, but I go into that one anyway. Okay, and then you're going to go in and do your single crochet in the center. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and back down. And you're going to find that your tentacles are going to lean a little bit. And that's coming from so many single crochets right next to each other. Okay, that's that one. Now you're going to go in the center and, and do your um, single crochet again. Chain five. One two, three, four, and five. And you're going to go back down once again. And again, this is just a, a small pattern that I came up with on my own that I just wanted to share. I thought it was cute. 
We look really good in the center of um, granny squares, plain granny squares, and then you sew them in to the center for a uh, like a ocean theme or a starfish theme afghan, maybe for a, a baby. But I thought it was a really cute idea. I'm going to go back down on our last tentacle here. Okay, and then the last one is going to be right up against there. Now you're going to slip stitch in the middle once again. Or not slip stitch, I'm sorry, you're going to go ahead and do your single crochet. Okay. Now I'm going to lay that down and get my little scissors, my little Westcott scissors, which I love. You're going to snip your end. What I like to do is, if they're close together, both of my ends of yarn, I'm going to pull them through. I'm going to wrap it around my hook, pull them both through, and pull them tight. That just give you, gives you some added security there. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your, your hook and your ends and you're going to pull them through which is called a, a technique called weaving and you're going to weave those in and out of a couple of your stitches in the back you don't want to do that in the front of your project so you just weave them and I weave them in just enough to keep them caught up in there some projects require more weaving Okay, and then you snip your ends, and as you can tell, the tentacles <clears throat> did a little, a little bit of a lean-in process on their own. So, this is my example of a starfish. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please let me know by clicking the like button, and I will be able to get more videos out to you. Alright guys, happy hooking today. Have a wonderful day.